Now that you understand how to construct a major scale in any key, you're ready to learn about the concept of intervals. All intervals in this video are known as simple intervals. You will learn in a subsequent video about larger intervals known as compound intervals. An interval is a space or distance in pitch between any two notes. Intervals can be played melodically, one note after the other, or harmonically, both notes at the same time. The name of an interval relies on the distance between the notes according to the structure of the major scale. In this video, we will be using the C major scale as our example since it consists of all natural notes. The system of naming intervals that you learn about in this video applies consistently to all the other major scales. We will begin by naming the eight intervals that occur in the C major scale that use the first scale degree C as the lowest note or root note of each interval. The smallest interval occurs when you play two notes that are identical in pitch, such as C to C the first scale degree to the first scale degree. This interval is called a perfect unison. Strictly speaking, it's not an interval at all because there's no space or distance between the notes, but in practice, it is treated as an interval and assigned a name. The next interval occurs between the notes C and D the first and second scale degrees. This interval is called a major second, deriving its number name from the name of the upper scale degree. The interval between the notes C and E, the first and third scale degrees, is called a major third. The interval between C and F, the first and fourth scale degrees, is called a perfect fourth. The interval between C and G, the first and fifth scale degrees, is called a perfect fifth. The interval between C and A, the first and sixth scale degrees, is called a major sixth. The interval between C and B, the first and seventh scale degrees, is called a major seventh. And the interval between C and C, the first and eighth scale degrees, is called a perfect eighth or perfect octave. To review, there are eight intervals that occur in a major scale when using the first scale degree as a root note. All eight of them receive their number name from the scale degree of the upper note of the interval. Four of the eight intervals are assigned the quality name perfect, and four of the eight intervals are assigned the quality name major. The perfect intervals are the first and last, or first and eighth, and the two in the middle, the fourth and fifth. The major intervals are the ones that occur between the perfect intervals, the second and third, and sixth and seventh. You will learn in a subsequent video concerning inversions of intervals why you encounter two different quality names in the intervals presented to this point. Perfect unison, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, perfect octave. Here they are presented as harmonic intervals. C to C, perfect unison. C to D, major second. C to E, major third. C to F, perfect fourth. C to G, perfect fifth. C to A, major sixth. C to B, major seventh. C to C, perfect octave. If you contract a major interval by one half step, it will become a minor interval. C to D, major second. C to D flat, minor second. C to E, major third. C to E flat, minor third. C to A, major sixth. C to A flat, minor sixth. C to B, major seventh. C to B flat, minor seventh. 
If you contract a perfect interval by one half step, it will become a diminished interval. C to F, perfect fourth. C to F flat, diminished fourth. C to G, perfect fifth. C to G flat, diminished fifth. C to C, perfect octave. C to C flat, diminished octave. It's impossible to contract a perfect unison. Now we can name all the intervals of the C chromatic scale using major, perfect, minor, and diminished intervals. C to C, perfect unison. C to D flat, minor second. C to D, major second. C to E flat, minor third. C to E, major third. C to F, perfect fourth. C to G flat, diminished fifth. C to G, perfect fifth. C to A flat, minor sixth. C to A, major sixth. C to B flat, minor seventh. C to B, major seventh. C to C, perfect octave. If you expand any major or perfect interval by one half step, it will become an augmented interval. Using this information, we can name all the intervals of the C chromatic scale using major, perfect, and augmented intervals. C to C, perfect unison. C to C sharp, augmented unison. C to D, major second. C to D sharp, augmented second. C to E, major third. C to F, perfect fourth. C to F sharp, augmented fourth. C to G, perfect fifth. C to G sharp, augmented fifth. C to A, major sixth. C to A sharp, augmented sixth. C to B, major seventh. C to C, perfect octave.